Hello there guitar player, in this video we're gonna have a closer look at the Hurdy Gurdy Polska. That's a very quick translation of Vevlire Polskan or Grodda Polskan, Grodda Liran. <laughs> this tune has a lot of names but uh, the thing is traditionally it was played on the Hurdy Gurdy. If you don't know what a Hurdy Gurdy is, that might be your next Google search <laughs> or something like that, but it's a very cool instrument. It works really good on guitar and it's a good way to get into this uh, rhythm of the of the polska and also we're using the drop D tuning so it really gives you a lot of new cool chord voicings to your to your toolbox so here we go playing the hurdy gurdy polska My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help folk guitar players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. Also, quick tip, hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. If you want to simplify the learning, go to mandolinsecrets.com and in the guitar club you will find the sheet music, the tabs, play along and all that for this tune and all other tunes here at the channel. So make sure you check that out. you find it at the Guitar Club. We're starting off the lesson with me playing through the tune two times. And um, I'm using like playing here in the fifth position. Pay attention to that. Look how I'm doing the ornaments, how I'm uh, doing the pick directions and all that. Collect as much information as possible and then afterwards I will break it down a little bit and also play it at the slow tempo. But here we go, Hurdy Gurdy Polska from Gotland. One, two, three. <laughs> Yes, there you got it. And you can also see that I'm putting the chords to the tune here. And there's a separate video showing you how to play the backup and all the chords, the rhythm playing for this tune. But here we take a closer look at the melody. And I have some few things I want to point out here. It's in the key of a G major. And I like playing it in this position. Using no open strings, but more like a closed position playing. And Always good thing is to find the scale here and the G major, major scale looks like this. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, you can see in the tabs and the notation how I'm doing it. I'm using mostly downstrokes for the melody. <laughs> Then there is also when I'm doing this ornaments. See, I'm doing that a lot, and it's like so it's on the fourth fret on the G string. Then I'm hammering on to the C note and a quick pull off to the B note again. Also, for measure 4, I'm using this fingering. And I want to do it like a pull-off here again. And it's a way of like mimicking, like bowing of the... Or how to call it with the hurdy-gurdy, or for a fiddle, for example. So I'm, I'm picking the E note, doing a pull off to the D. And that's also the reason why I'm leaving this position. I think it sounds better than actually picked, but it's something you can play around with. And also you might wonder for the ornaments, because uh, if you're looking through the tabs and then you're checking with the video, you might see that I'm, I'm not always doing this. And I might do it at an other place even, like in bar two, for example. So the thing is, there is no like right or wrong place to, to put that little uh, trill we can do it at different places. So something to play around with, but really use my notation as a guide and also cl closely listen to my performance of it, because that will give you some clues right there. But here, let me play it at a slow tempo. We're now at 75 beats per minute, more like a practice tempo. One, two, three. <laughs>
okay, there you got it. And I, I want to point out, once you can play this tune and you can play with me, play along at the slow tempo, you want to also rewind the video, of course, and play back in the, at a faster tempo. And that fast tempo is really a very good tempo for dancing this tune. So it's not like a practice tempo or anything like that. That is a tempo suitable for the dance floor, I would say. All right, that's it. Let us know in the comment section how you find this video. And I'm also curious to see, are you used to playing like position playing like this on the guitar or are you more comfortable playing um, like in the, for, in the open position, the first position? Let us know in the comment section below and we will be very interested to know. As always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. See you in a new video soon.